Here we go. Lights ahead of the drivers here in Silverstone. A Red Bull 1-2. Will they hold it after 25%? The lights are out. We're racing here in Britain. And good start by Mateo Manga. Great start by um, Jojo as well. He's going to try and cover off the Ferraris behind. The order stays the same. Mateo Manga, then Jojo. Then I think the Ferraris stay one. Uh, sorry, three and four, I think. And here comes Casper. Down the inside of Cynthia gets the move done. The Ferraris going wheel to wheel. Going through turn three to block off the cars behind. I think Cynthia might be under pressure by Flair down the inside as well. Flair trying to scrap for P5. Bit of contact there. Cynthia forced off track. He's going to rejoin in the path of the other McLaren and that spun him around Cintium out of contention it's Red Bull Red Bull Ferrari Ferrari and then it's going to be Alfonso trying to get find his way down the inside of Skiz going through Luffield great move no moves going into Stowe on the first lap a place where there's a lot of overtakes Alfonso Alonso trying to get down the inside of Flair there nearly got the move done he's left his battery on through a slow set of corners that's risky and that's what happens too much power to the rear and a big snap that might allow Skiz to strike going towards turn one the battery's left on for him in a good place down the inside bit of contact I think that was close Alfonso left a bit of room but I think the McLaren is through I think Rama's trying to make it through a press going towards turn three he backs off just about bit of contact Skiz is round and I think that's what's going to happen when you make it through breast going into turn three Skiz down to P13 that is not right, losing two there drop down Alfonso Alonso benefits from uh, from that yeah it's uh, very unfortunate for <coughs> Skiz very very Oh, Audrey Rest again going to the moon trying to get down the inside of the Williams of side effects and that. That was a bit messy. Three abreast around here, it's difficult. As Adam Spalding trying to get around the outside of side effects. Can he get the battery down? Can he get the power down? To up the old pit straight and he absolutely does. Adam Spalding up to P8. Going to the moon, takes uh, past Alonso. Here comes Spalding trying to get down the inside of Alonso. Very close. Bit of wheel banging. Alonso is forced off track. Will he rejoin beside the Aston Martin? He won't. Adam Spalding is up one more. Side effects forced to the inside. Can't quite make the move down on Alonso. Stays where he is. This midfield is looking very, very close. Trying to get the inside line as Alfonso goes a bit wide. Can the Williams fit his way down the inside of the Mercedes? Has he got the grip to do it? And I think he does. Alonso lags backwards. And more Wi-Fi issues for Mercedes. And oh, that's forced Ferrari off track as well. And he might be in trouble now as uh, Alonso has the inside of Cops. Will Rara be able to fit his car around the outside? Battery on as they go towards uh, Magus and Beckett. And he can't quite f make the room stick. Uh, oh, behind. There's a big battle going on behind. I think that's Alonso, and he's going wheel-to-wheel -wheel there with the Alpine going towards turn one. Alonso's got the inside, and he's got the grip to do it. Bit of contact there with the Alpine, he has to take the escape route. He's going to rejoin safely, I think, right behind. And now a battle for P8, which of course will be P9 after Ronan's back. will be interesting. The Alpine back down the inside of Alonso. Very close. Has to catch the car. Alonso's going to have the outside line. More grip as well. And I think Silent Pistol might be able to improve here in his position. Let's go on board. Battery on as he's closing in. Will he find room? He's going to have to go onto the grass to do it. That's really, really dangerous. The Alpine go down the inside. is four abreast of the car on the inside as well. And I think the McLaren is just about one out on that. Rara's trying to get around the outside of, um, of Lafield as well. Hasn't got the grip to do it. Alonso's down to 10. Skiz may be in trouble here. As Rara is going to go for it. Battery on. I think he's having to defend from Alonso as well. Alonso pulls to the outside of Stowe. Rara goes to the inside. But having three abreast once again. Oh, and Skiz is right in the middle of it. He's managed to avoid. Rara's got the outside. Skiz trying to get for the switchback. Bit of contact again as they dive down towards Vale. Who's going to be later on the brakes? I think it's going to be the Mercedes who hugs that inside line. Alonso just about gets through. Skiz holding the inside of club. Can he hold off the Alpine? Who's still trying to hold it around the outside. Skiz just about finds the grip. Great driving by these three. As they weave yeah, their way through. Mediums as well, crucially, as is Skiz. So hopefully by the time they get the stops on, they'll be, uh, be able to pull away. Yeah. Oh, Skiz with a big snap there. Is that going to allow Alonso to make a cha game changing move? Pulls to the inside of Stoke, gets the move easily done before the corner. Alonso up to P5. Will they pit? One Red Bull's in, that's Mateo Manga, championship leader, followed by Flair, who speeds in the pit lane. And silly mistake again, that's, that's going to be 13 seconds all added up. Locking the front goes Alonso, who I think had to panic there. Uh, where will Mateo Manga come out? Watching. Where will Mateo Manga come out compared to the Ferraris? That's the question. Out of the pits he goes, Mateo Manga. He absolutely had the pace to do it. Casper is going to come up behind him. Where's Flair? And Flair's going to come up behind both Ferraris. Side effects, feeling the pressure from Gone to the Moon. Who pulls to the inside with the DRS open. Up to P8 he goes. Great move by the beep up. The medium runners are coming as well. Oh, it's Skiz. Oh, Skiz has sped. <laughs> and both McLarens speeding in the pit lane. I wonder if Kiernan will be alive after this because I imagine Mill will be using him as a punching bag. <laughs> Jojo on the pit exit. Lots of wheel spin there. Is he going to come out ahead of his teammate or behind? He will come up behind, but it's still a Red Bull 1 2. Oh my goodness, they've done this perfectly. And Red Bull are flying. Casper and Ronan right behind for a 3 4 for Ferrari. Where is Skiz coming out? Skiz is going to go up P8 right behind Adam Spalding. Very close to the, um, to the Mercedes as well. He swings it around the outside. Alfonso just about holds on. 
But Skiz is going to have incredible grip on those tyres. Course is behind him about two seconds back. Sintium is in the train again as well. He might be able to get a potentially a top 10 if he has a lot of pace. I'm watching Skiz. When will Skiz cut through? Because he's going to be the quickest man on track at this stage. And look at how much grip he's got. He's right on the gearbox of, um, uh, of Alfonso. Trying to fit down the inside. Skiz, Skiz, bit of contact. And I think through he goes. Will it be seen as a push to pass? I hope not. Well, look like a good move. Battery on as well. And Skiz is through. Gap's getting smaller and smaller as I think up at the front. Flair's trying to get down the inside of Casper. I think he's... Oh, bit of contact. He's caught the cars. Casper may have to stay ahead. He hasn't. They're working very well together. They're no fight and they're just, they're just using DRS and keep pulling away. And of course, the battles behind are helping as well. Um, yeah, as, as, as I mentioned earlier as well, I mean, Stowe is a very good corner for overtaking. Just chucking it down the inside. Here comes Flair. Looking down the inside of the other Ferrari. As we say that, I can't. I think Flair's looking quicker than both Ferraris at this stage. He's cutting through one by one. Skiz, uh, not Skiz, sorry. Side effects, Skiz pass gone to the moon. And Skiz is in DRS now. Just trying to keep pulling and pulling in the final laps. Skiz way later on the brakes and gone to the moon. Down the inside of Brooklyn gets the move on, gone to the moon. And yeah, he's so much quicker at this stage. Alonso is in DRS, so is Adam Spalding. So as I said, more positions to be gained potentially for them. Battery on again for Skiz. So he knows he needs to cut through and get away ASAP. 10 seconds is a long way. Looking down the inside of Cops. Will the room be left? It absolutely will be. Look at the amount of grip that man's got. Skiz up to P6. As the leaders swap once again, I think Ronan's going to try and get around the outside of Flair. He does. Will that allow Adam Spalding to make a move going into Vale? This might be the only overtaking point they have. Oh, a bit of a lock up there. Oh, and a spin. And he, he touched the grass. Go to the move. I think he touched the grass as he was braking and that just caused his car to spin out of control. Is he burning or is he uh, going to stay where he is? He is going to burn. He's going to aim for the move on Ronan. Pulls to the inside. Box off the road, nicely done by Flair. And he's looking, he is looking quick, so I know those penalties are going to screw him over, but I'm excited to see what he can do. Oh, and there's three abreast going here. Adam Spalding gets past side effects, so does Alonso. Round the outside of Stowe. Uh, Flair <laughs> gets down the inside of one of the fries. I think that's Casper actually trying to hold it around the outside of Stowe. Very, very close racing. Why are they bothering? Just he's the got a penalty. As well. Oh no, he tucks in. Couldn't quite do it. Of course, uh, again. Did manage to get past Spalding. So, look, I'm going to put it on leader for the, la for the last couple laps. So in leader. Oh, and here comes, uh, here comes uh, Spalding. Down the inside of turn one. Gets the move on Alonso. Does cut the corner though. So that'll be another uh, warning. Battery on it's for the burning. two. not Side effects is not burn. Consider no. Considering there's Alonso. Uh, late move there by battery. Spalding. Alonso down the inside. Great battling. And the Mercedes is through. As Ronan pulls to the inside on Flair. This Casper's trying to follow him. Should Ferrari be doing this? Bit of an unnecessary risk if you ask me. He tries to swing it around the outside of Ronan. Oh, switches to the inside. Going for it. Oh, it's bit of contact. Down the inside of Woodcock. He's absolutely done it. He stayed on none mode though, so he wants to do it uh, going through Stowe. Both of them aren't none. Hmm. Down the inside, he does do it. But that means Roman's going to get DRS. Uh, with DRS yeah. Where's Skiz? So Skiz is trying to get involved as well. Skiz is going to go wheel to wheel with one Ferrari. He's going to try and get both of them. It's going to be very, very close as they weave through the first sector. The two biggest teams in XRS and McLaren are through. Best is he hasn't got that much battery though. Is Ronan going to be able to clap back? Battery on with the DRS. He's going to burn straight past. I think the other Ferrari of Casper trying to follow through. Can't quite do it. We're going to look to the front though. It's been a domination by the two Red Bulls who are battling. And Jojo is given the sprint. Despite not being in the title fight, takes the 10 points. Mater takes nine. Flair's going to cross the line in P3. With that 10 second penalty, it won't matter. It's going to be a Ferrari 3 4 as they cross the line. Where will McLaren end up? Alonso 5, Spalding 6, side effects 7, Sintium after all of that P8, Quartz P9, Skiz does actually get ahead of the, Al uh, of the Alpine, Flair with the track limit penalty, that's going to pull him down to, to 12th, Skiz does score a point. Lights out of the drivers here in Silverstone, we had the sprint race, now it's the feature race, a Red Bull 1-2, the lights are out, we're racing here in Silverstone, good start by uh, Jojo, great start by Mateo Manga as well, who might be under pressure here by Casper going towards turn one, he's going to stay a Red Bull 1-2, he's going to stay a Ferrari 2-5, because here comes Alonso, round the outside of turn one, manages to get Casper off the line, Casper's going to try and challenge going into turn three, I think Ronan's trying to get down the inside of one of the Red Bulls as well, round goes Sintium, so there we go once again, another lap one <laughs> incident for the Haas. On the exit, going through turn five. The Mercedes on the inside of both Ferraris. That got close. Can he burn? The potentially defend. Uh, round goes a uh, V carb as well in the background. I think Alonso had a bit of lag. That's going to allow side effects to get right inside of him uh, through the ghosting. <laughs> side effects up to P5. So the Williams looking quick. All bit off his line goes the Ferrari. That might allow side effects to get down the inside of Casper. Usually quicker on the exit. I think it might have been side effects. What a great lap one for the uh, for the Williams. He's up in P4. It's going to be Red Bull, followed by Red Bull. Then it's going to be Ronan, then side effects. And then Casper right behind. Rara as well. Trying to challenge Casper as well. Casper has had a struggled start to the race. He's going to hug the inside, going through Luffield. 
uh, oh, sorry, going through um, Magus, I should say. And he has held on to the position. Red Bull splitting the strategy as well. Here comes Casper uh, trying to get around the outside of side effects. Gets the move done Turn before on. Luffield. Yeah, interesting. We've got a good slip. He just had no arrows. Soft mediums. <laughs> yeah. Rara right down the inside of the Williams as well. Trying to fit a car down the inside going through Vale. Couldn't quite do it though in this particular lap. As Jody sets the fastest lap as we begin lap two. So interesting. So Red Bull have split strategy. Mercedes and... Um, oh, here we go. Here comes down the inside. Goes the Alpine. On oh, the Williams still racing. Both of them on the soft tyres. Both of them on the quick tyres. The Alpine's got no battery left. He's going to dive down the inside of turn three. Will the Williams be able to defend around the outside? I think he just about does. Great driving there by side effects. He's going to continue to defend the inside and holds on. We can see how that works out for them. As Flair getting around the outside of Alonso there. Flair's looking really quick. He's up to P7 already. Battery on for the Mercedes. He pulls to the outside of, um, of Stowe. I think the Alpine's going to go for it as well. We're going to have two wheels to wheels. The Alpine around the outside. There's contact. And round goes. Um, round they go. A bit of a half spin, I think. But the Merv to carry it on. Down the inside goes the Mercedes of Alonso, who's now fine for P5. Forcing Flair all the way deep. Can Flair dive down the inside of the second half of, 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 of Vale? He can. And the Alpine's going to skip through one. He might be able to skip through two. That was close. Bit of contact. And Alonso manages to get back through Ooh. again. So Alonso side off effects. the track, though. Will he have to give that back? Yeah, maybe, maybe. He might be right. Yeah, he, he does. He's giving it back. A good sportsmanship there by Alonso, who's going to lose position maybe to the Williams as well in doing so. Let's Plus see if he can two. hold on. Side effects dives down the inside of turn four. Alonso, the Alonso of turn. as well. Can he get the... Can he get the grip? He's on the medium, so he's not going to have the good grip. Left not too much space, but he, I think he has just about got it. Side effects still will to will. He's going to dive down the inside of Brooklyn. How deep will he go? Pretty deep. You say he's allowed to back off. Is he going to be able to hold it down the inside of Luffield? We've got a great aerial shot here. He's the quicker on the accelerator, and I think it was side effects, and that's so unfortunate for Alonso. He was just only, he was only avoiding the, uh, the Alpine who tried to get two positions and ended up losing three, going through uh, Vale. And all oh, bits of a slow exit there by side effects. That might allow Alonso to get wheel to wheel with a bit of contact as they go into the, ooh, into, uh, into the S corners. And that spun into him out again. Bit of Can't contact between Alonso look. and uh, Pistol. And that spun into him out again. That is so unlucky. A side effects gets past Flair, who did pick up a three second penalty there as well. Down the inside goes Alonso on Rara. Going through, um, going through Stone. Not too much room left there by the Alpine. The fight still continues. Alonso trying to use all the curves to try to get fit around the outside. Rara is looking quick. He's defending with everything he can. Skiz defending off, uh, off gone to the moon there. As yellow flags in the background, that's Spalding. As Rara trying to make a move down the inside of Alonso. Big dive down the inside of turn four. A lot of contact there. No damage, but there was a lot of wheel banging. Who's got the most and who's done it most efficiently? Weaving in and out, in and out. I think side effects has gone for the outside. Alonso's going to try and follow him. Side effects. Does he get the move on the McLaren? He absolutely does. Can Alonso follow through? I think Flair's going to continue fighting. Alonso went off track there. That might have been a warning. Here comes Flair. Down the inside. Going towards Vale. Bit of contact. Alonso's forced wide. There's so many cars. And I think Flair's been spun round. Up ahead as well. I think Silent Pistol's been pushed wide as well. sentium has been let through. Going to the moon has fought his way through as well. And I think that was an Alpine as well. He went over the, uh, the race curb. Which has allowed Gone to the Moon to get through up to P6. Way too many cars in a small area. And oh, and that's a lockup there for the Alpine who spins the V car. And that'll be a 10 second penalty, I'm sure, for Rara, who's carried on, causing havoc for the McLarens. And he spun Gone to the Moon, who had a great little chance there to run away. Here comes Cynthia, who's back in this fight now after getting spun three times down the inside of, uh, of Alonso. The switch to the outside through left field. He's going to have this quicker tyres, the soft tyres at this stage in the race. Around the outside he goes. Can Alonso fight it? Alonso's not known peace in this race since the very beginning because he's been fighting people every single corner of the sprint of the feature race. Skiz is trying to scan with Silent Pistol as they go through Cops to corner. Skiz down the inside. Great move. Battery on for these drivers. Who's going to come out in front? Rara feeling the pressure from Flair. He's going to get down the inside of Stowe. Bit of contact again. And Flair fights his way through. Rara is struggling. We'll send him look for a move. Here we go. Going towards Luffield. Or probably for Brookens, I should say. Down the inside. Great move there already. Trying to hold it around the outside. The side effects. As they go through Luffield. Send him way later on the brakes. Quest is to get the better exit. It should be the house. And what a great drive. What a great comeback from Send him. Lap seven. And he's finding his way back up three times. Ski is still not within DRS. Got hot lap mode on. As Alonso tries to get down the inside. of cops on uh, side effects. The space was left, but side effects has gone off track on his own. And through he goes. Has Skiz got within DRS. I think he just about has. Side of Pistol was there as well. Rara trying to get through on the S corners. Inside, outside. And that's a 
slip there from side effect uh, from from silent pistol I should say. And here comes Flair to pick up the pieces. This midfield fight has been very aggressive. <laughs> Flair has touched Rara onto the grass there. He's still going to squat a fight way later on the breaks for Stowe. Is he going to get the better exit there? Let's go on board. As Flair tries to get around the outside, going towards Vale. We'll watch Room be left. He's going to go two and two right behind. A spin at the back for I think that was Quartz. Or maybe it was gone to the moon. Still contact between the Alpine and the McLaren. And now Randy goes. Good catch and you cannot go build to build that much contact. Adam Spalding is going to try and pick his way through. Past the Alpine and he does do it. Uh, of course Skiz is clicked onto the back of that. Flare into the wall. And that's not going to give a safety car. What's happened there? Well, which, oh, I wonder if his, uh, his car will stay where it is. Nicely done. And into the pits there. Goes all oh, Sintium. And another driver to get a 10 second penalty. It's a difficult pit lane. It's a slow pit lane. It's a late pit lane. But another mistake has been made. Sintium 10 second penalty. That's going to be a big changer in this race. He's going in for probably the medium tyres. Get a flags and that's Alonso. Who has lost it on his own I believe. And into the pits goes Jojo. Which is a safety car. Help him out a lot. And there's no spinning there. So look, and there's a missing wing on Alonso. And that's so unlucky. Cup just getting bigger and bigger. Adam Spalding trying to go down the inside of Stowe. Not too much room left, and he's off onto the grass. Here we go, battery gun for Ronan, who doesn't look like he's going to be pitting because he is going for the move. Is Mateo Manga burning? He's not. Down the inside goes Ronan, makes the move into Stoke. And will we see the Irishman go into the box? And he does not. He's just aiming for the, aiming for the move, putting the pressure on the Red Bull. And he ups to make a late switch into the pits. Oh, very quick into the pits, and that's the 10 second penalty, yep. It's a slow pit lane. People forget it. 10 seconds to the Alpine. Jojo is up to P6. And with lots of clean air, it's allowing him to uh, to come through. Here comes Mateo Manga looking down the inside as Alonso goes off again. Mateo Manga makes the move on Ronan going towards uh, into Brooklyn. Alonso really struggling. And head back into the pits again. Probably for mediums or to retire. If he retires, he's in the point, which is very unlucky. And he's spared he might retire here. Ronan down the inside. Uh, Stowe gets the move done. Is Mateo still going to fight him? And he will. Will Castle be able to make a move going towards Vale? How late will the breaks really be? Not quite late enough. Here comes Ronan making it looking at a late move down the inside of Stowe. Got a sweep round the outside goes the Red Bull. Who has managed to defend the position. Into the pits he goes. Both Ferrari staying out. Spalding speeds in the pit lane. Skiz does not this time I don't think. Uh, actually Spalding got in before Skiz. He must have got in with the DRS. Let's find out what's going on with Ronan. And you can see on the right hand side of your screen there is Jojo. And there, going past is Mateo Manga. The undercut is nuts. And will Cynthia be a potential issue? As he comes around turn one. No. Here comes Skiz. Battery on. Trying to go around the outside of Adam Spaulding. Trying to fit his car. Going towards Cops. Can he get it on the Aston Mine? Swing it around the outside. Has he got the room to do it? Very close to contact, but he does get it done. As Skiz with the DRS. He's going to pull to the outside. I think Adam Spaulding is going to try and follow him as well. And he absolutely does. Good move. Let's find out what's going on with Cynthia. Will he come out ahead or behind of Casper? I think he might have just about got him. It's going to be close. The Ferrari comes out there and he just about beats him. Really, really strong end lap there by Casper. Only losing 1.7 as opposed to the rest of the drivers using about two. Battery on. Spalding's looking to look for a move. He's going to be on board of Skiz. He's going to look for a move on one. He's going to pull to the inside. Can he look for a move on two? Going towards Stowe. And he can't quite get the grip to do it. Spalding stays ahead. As the Ferrari swap positions as well. And oh, mistake there from Yeston Mine. He's going to fall off the, uh, off the back. <laughs> that allows uh, side effects to get through. I don't think that changes the order. Oh, it just, just about. So could have gone to the moon. Get a position here. That, that's really unfortunate by Aston Martin. Gone to the moon might be able to profit here. So in the next two laps, he's going to have to gain a second on each. Which I think is going to be a distant dream. As Adam Spaulding pulls to the inside on oh, side effects after making that mistake. He might be a threat of losing that position to go on to the moon as well. So we might see Spaulding in P9. A dominant drive from the Red Bulls. And they have been flying today. Absolutely no challenge. It's going to be maximum points as they score the fastest lap as well. Mateo Manga wins the Silverstone Grand Prix. Jojo finishes P2. What a huge result. It's going to be Ferrari 3 and 4. But the question is, will side effects catch skiers? All he needs is to be within that three second gap. It's going to be right to the line. As I think Spalding made a mistake there. Tintin with the 10. I think he's safe from that. Can side effects get within it? It's going to be right to the line. Skiz around the final corner. Poor exit. I think side effects has done it. And he absolutely has. 
Skiz falls to P7 by only seven thousandths of a second. Spalding finishes P8, but it's going to switch to P9. We've gone to the moon. Ra Ra and Silent Pistol will be 11 and 10. And uh, a slow race, which is full of those 10 second penalties. But fair play to side effects.